Hey guys, it's Vic with High Desert Man. It is time for another subscriber short. And uh, the one I'm doing tonight is the Baca from Roma Craft Tobacco. And uh, this comes from my friend Mitch Smith, who I did a video with. We met up in Phoenix at 21 Degrees Cigars last summer. We'll talk about that in a moment. Stick around. All right, so this came from uh, Mitch Smith. He had sent me, oh, I don't know. He said, I think he sent me five or six different cigars. And I think I did a subscriber short from one of those that he sent me. But this one, this one's been just sitting in the humidor and I keep seeing it and trying to figure out when's the right time to do it. It's a nice small cigar. And um, all we know about it, it is a Cameroon wrapped cigar, Baca is the name of a people that live in Cameroon, a, um, a group of people. This is from um, halfwheel.com. Roma Craft Tabac has begun shipping the first size of its newest line, Baca. Uh, well, this is talking about the new size. Uh, the, the Baca uses a Cameroon wrapper over an undisclosed binder and filler. The name refers to the Baku people a small population of peoples living in Cameroon and the surrounding countries. The one I'm smoking today is the Baca Pygmy. It is a 4x46. Let's check this baby out. I'm kind of excited about this because it has been a long time since I've had a Cameroon wrapped cigar. There was a period uh, right around 2000. 7-2008 where I could not get enough Cameroon wrapper. It's a it's a more delicate wrapper leaf. It's a little bit harder to work with for I might not have cut enough off there. Mm, that's gonna be fine. That draws pretty pretty loose. Good looking good looking cigar and it tends to be a really delicate leaf that is uh, can be hard to work with in the uh, fermentation process and it's prone to tearing easily and stuff. Draws very nice. Cigar looks very nice. It literally smells like a cardboard box. On the foot also. Wow. Oh, that immediately takes me back. That is a flavor I have not tasted in a long time. Wow. Oh, man. That's Cameroon. That's good. The draw is right where I want it. Looks like it's going to burn real good. It's got a pretty decent amount of pepper. Uh, the Retro Hill has a, a bit of bite. Oh, and the finish is long, and it's, how do I describe Cameroon wrapper? The finish, oh, it's still lingering. It just, it's got a great coating in the mouth already. The, the pepper is, is distinct, and it's just hinting up to, up to being a little too much, but it's not bad. It's really... Uh, it's not hanging out in the back of the throat. It seems to be coming uh, forward on uh, about to the middle point of my tongue. But it's just kind of hanging there. And then my whole mouth seems coated with the flavor of that Cameroon wrapper. I have not had that in so long. But it immediately takes me back. It's, it's, it's like I just smoked one yesterday. I don't even know what flavors I'm getting. I, I don't know how to describe it. All right, I'm gonna just smoke on this for a little while, guys, and uh, we'll be back to talk about it in the, I'll probably just do halves. I'll smoke the first half and I'll come back. Guys, words fail me. I just, I don't know what to say about this cigar 
other than it is really good. This is something I might have to uh, pick up. This is really good. The draw and the burn are going to be perfect fives. <clears throat> um, well, I don't rate draw, but the burn on this thing. Uh, I, I can set it down. I can do stuff, whatever. Come back to it a couple minutes later, and it's like I was just drawing on it. it this thing just burns. Puts off a great amount of smoke. The flavors, I, I don't know what flavors I'm picking up, to be honest. I'm, I'm, it seems like a mix of different baking spices and maybe the flavor of caramel without uh, the sweetness and and a decent amount of pepper but everything is so mingled it's the flavors are all married so well that I can't really pick out distinct flavors but everything tastes really good the finish is nice and long the body is medium the strength, strength is medium, maybe leaning into medium full so far. It, it just feels like the perfect cigar for today. For It's rainy outside, I'm working in the lab and stuff. It just feels like the perfect cigar for this moment. It's got some bite in the nose. Oh man. Really good. I'll be back guys at the end and uh, hopefully I have some flavors at that point. You guys know me. I can talk. I can, uh, I can go on and on about flavors. This one has me befuddled. I just just am not sure what flavors I'm picking up <clears throat> but everything is blended so well it reminds me not in any way of flavor but I'm gonna I'm talking more to experience now if you've ever gone to Morton's Steakhouse Morton's signature steak is a prime uh, prime Cajun ribeye I love that steak. It is so good. They've got their own signature Cajun uh, spice that they mix up. And if you're, if you're really cool to the person who's waiting on you, sometimes they'll bring you a dish of that stuff. Um, I don't know, maybe it's my experience. I used to work for Motorola, hence the Motorola jacket. And I had a really cool sales guy that I worked with. And <clears throat> his name was Kenny. Kenny was a blast. He was so fun to work with. And, and he was a salesman. He knew nothing technically. He, he didn't know anything about uh, the technical aspects of what we were doing. But man, that dude could sell. Smoke cigars. He and I, that was one of the reasons why it was so fun to work with him because uh, we did a lot of road trips together and stuff and, and we always ended the day with a good cigar in a bar or casinos. We worked in Nevada a lot. As a pretty regular thing, he would take uh, me and our customers to a, a particular Morton's in Vegas that was not in the best area and it wasn't the nicest Morton's, but I'd get that Cajun, that prime Cajun ribeye every time. And that spice mix that they use and the way that they do that steak, it's a 24 hour process. They marinate it. Anyways, it, it marinates in this, this Cajun spice for 24 hours. And then they cook it and oh my gosh, it is so good. And it's, it's a steak that the steak flavor comes through, but the blending of the spices is so nice that you don't... It, the whole experience just comes together into a just wonderful steak and wonderful experience in your mouth. That's what this cigar is. It's, everything is just blended so well and so complementary to each other. So far as the flavors, the best I could do is 
The peppers on this are medium <clears throat> and they're blended very well. There's some cedar in this and there are some of those baking spices and then something that I can only relate to a mixture of caramel and the baking spices but none of the sweetness of the caramel just the flavor that's the best I can come up with it's it's really good this thing smokes like crazy the only thing this got deemed for really was uh, transition and price I'll talk about that in a minute so construction five burn five flavor five for those points alone you want to smoke this cigar uh, the price and everything will bring the the overall rating down a little bit but it's just super good the body 4.5 alright transition 3 price 3 that brought the total score to a 4.25 on this cigar I don't remember if I mentioned the price or not but this is the Baca Pygmy it's a 4 by 46 and it comes in at $9.25 for this stick. A little bit too much. I don't want this cigar to go out. This is really good. Mitch, thank you, man. Thank you so much for sending this to me. All right, guys, that is the subscriber short from Mitch Smith, the Roma Craft to, um, Baca Pygmy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till the next one, stay rugged.